Whales make a number of different sounds. For example, they can be high and then they can be low. The baleen whales are the low frequency whales and they use low sounds to communicate over large distances in the ocean. So for example, the humpback whale has a number of different sounds they make. One of them is the creaking door, and the other is the disco whale. Whoop, 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 whoop. And then there's your high frequency communicators such as sperm whales and killer whales and even dolphins, which sound a little like this. And sperm whales sound like this. Toothed whales use high frequency sounds to navigate around their environment. But what they also use sound for is to find food. And one of the ways they do this is by using echolocation. But what exactly is echolocation? Well, simplistically, whales are able to send out a sound into the environment, and if there's an object there, it'll hopefully bounce back where they can then receive that sound signal via their mandible or lower jaw. So once they're close to their prey, which they're able to detect via using echolocation, they're able to snatch their prey in areas or times where there's limited visibility. Sperm whales are a great example of a toothed whale which uses echolocation to feed. They swim down deep, 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 kilometres deep into the ocean where it's black, there's no sunlight, and what they're specifically hunting is giant squid. They're then able to use echolocation to navigate and capture their squid prey. Baleen whales, which are the low frequency communicators, are able to talk to each other over kilometres across the ocean. It's kind of like me having a conversation with someone one part of Sydney and the other. Humpback whales are a great example of a baleen whale, which means they don't echolocate and they don't have any teeth at all. But in the humpback whale world, it's the male whales that are the star singers. In fact, the males are the ones that sing to attract females. This is a sound chamber which can help us visualise or see whale sounds. So for example, we have the blue whale, which is a low frequency communicator, as well as another famous low frequency communicator, which is the humpback whale which sounds a little like this. And then we have the high frequency communicators, just like the famous killer whale, which sounds a little bit like this.